hello there Taurus friends welcome to your November 2020 reading here on my channel healing tea talk I'm not real sure where to look but it's okay <laughs> hi guys I hope that you are having a wonderful day blessings to you happy November Taurus friends I hope all is well um we're halfway through the month at this point you guys and so we've had a new moon in Scorpio just passed um Neptune Oh, excuse me. I drank some water right before I re <laughs> hit record. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but we went, uh, Neptune goes direct the 28th of November. Neptune is the planet of, you know, that illusionary kind of lovey-dovey illusion kind of thing. Rules, Pisces. Um, goes direct. So that could um, show up as creativity for you guys towards the end of the month, as well as a full moon in Gemini on the 30th, as well as a lunar eclipse. So um, you could, there could be an insatiable need to know things or want communication. You could find yourself being more communicative at the end of the month as well, Taurus. So just wanted to share those planetary movements for those who may be interested in that kind of thing. I'm going to start um, with a, sorry, I got a phone call, but I'm gonna start with the um, Nature's Whispers of Love. So this is Whispers of Love, okay? So we'll start with a guidance card from Whispers of Love and so thank you, Father, for my Taurus friends. I pray for guidance during this reading. Let this time together be sacred and wonderful. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, affirmation, and confirmation for my Taurus friends. Thank you so much, Archangel, Spirit, guys of the highest, most holy, divine order. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, the heart of the matter, Taurus, it says there is more going on than meets the eye. So it looks like as somebody's sleeping, there are angels watching over this baby, as well as a complete village of people, which is really, really nice. So I do feel like um, you are divinely protected. There is more going on. The number 22 is a master number in numerology. It also happens to be my birthday, November 22nd. <laughs> Very nice, but there's more going on than meets the eye, Taurus. That looks good. Universe has your back. Definitely being watched over. Alrighty. Let's get you a guidance card from the Power of Surrender deck. This is for my Taurus friends. For the remainder of November 2020. Hold on. Let me just shuffle this real quick. Guidance for my Taurus friends, the remainder. Okay, I still got three cards. All right, here we go. Surrender stubbornness, Taurus. Ooh. <laughs> a Taurus trait, right? If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. Be willing to give in, Taurus. This will help you communicate your more lovingly with others and yourself. Then you also have here... Surrender your need to always be right. Whoa, what is going on with you guys? Give it, give others the gift of letting them be right, Taurus. Let other people be right. Be yielding. Second time, we've heard that word. Not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships, friends. And the final card says surrender unhealthy relationships. Taurus, what is going on? It says, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So we have some matters of the heart, definitely some matters of the heart going on here with you guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get your guidance. I'm going to use the Archangel Power Deck. We need some power <laughs> for this situation. My goodness. All right, Holy Spirit, overall energy for my Taurus friends for the remainder of November. What is happening here? Thank you. We have here the seven of Ariel. So this is evaluated. It can be. It's when you've invested wisely into something. You could be reanalyzing something. 
Um, and it could be a new connection because I've got an Ace of Gabriel here, which is the Ace of Wands. The cards are a little beat up, but they mean the same thing. So it looks like there could be something that started off hot and heavy and now it's becoming a little more stagnant or isn't really moving anymore. So you could have been extremely passionate about something and it's starting to slow down a little bit. Um, but I can see you analyzing something. Um, and planning for your next big adventure. Some of you could just be planning for the next thing that you are very excited about. All right, let's take a look at your potential challenge, Taurus. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see your cards as they come out. Bear with me for a moment. All right, so let's take a look at your potential challenge here. All right, potential challenge for my Taurus friends for the remainder of November 2020. All right, guys, you have the strength card and the two of Ariel. So you see that 11 there? Again, my birthday is 11-22. Just thought I'd say that one more time. But anyway, the 11 here. 11s are about... Um, it could be considered a twin flame. The strength card is the Leo card. The challenge I feel for you guys could be just, and we have a two of Ariel as well. Um, I feel like there's a balance that is needed, Taurus. I really do feel that way. Um, there's a need for balance here. You could be doing an awful lot. You could be a little edgy. Um, you could be working on a lot of different jobs or projects right now. Um, but there is a need for you to be strong. Okay. Um, and there could be a new relationship because I see new beginnings. The four of Gabriel is the four of wands, which is commitment, marriage kind of vibe. So the challenge could be you really learning to get along with someone else, like build a life with someone. And guess what? When you're trying to do that, you don't get to always have your way, Taurus. That's not how it works. All right, let's take a look at the foundation is the Queen of Raphael, which is being kind and understanding. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but that's a very loving energy, loving of home and family. The eight of Ariel is studying or um, studying something, practicing something, being consistent, um, getting additional education or something like that. Um, some of you could be training someone. You could feel like you're doing that. But I also see the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is like a romantic, a romantic energy coming towards you. Someone who wants commitment. Um... It's when your heart flutters. What it feels like to me, Taurus, is that there could be someone very excited about you. You could feel like you don't have time for love. You know, you could really be focused on something as it pertains to work or a career and not really be giving your love life the attention that it deserves. Let's take a look at the recent past. recent past for my Taurus friends, all placements. Go ahead and hit the like button, friends. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I go live. Your recent past, friends, is the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. A major arcana. So there are some new beginnings recently, or there will be. Um, a change in direction that offers you happiness as well as the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's some kind of fresh start in love. Um, some kind of emotional start. You guys may have been dealing with two people though. Uh, I am seeing that. Let's take a look at your crowning energy. Is the Chariot of Victorious Energy and the Peace card. Two major arcana. One is the card of Cancer. Um... But this is about, you know, the chariot is a very driven and determined energy, Taurus friend. 
And it's talking about self-control and career advancement. And so I think you could be very, very driven as it pertains to career. Um, you could feel like you have to take the reins of something. Um, I feel like if you do want peace of mind, and you have the Ten of Ariel, if you do want peace of mind, I think there's some relinquishing of things to spirit, not feeling like you have to control everything going on in your life. That will drive the people in your life bananas. But this card is about having it all. It's the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. This is um, having a lot to be grateful for, financial success. And having a rich and, re and rewarding family life, which is super nice. Let's take a look at your outcome. You could be doing a lot of planning for a new venture, but I do feel like you could be neglecting your love life. Um, let's take a look at the outcome, please. For my Taurus friends. All right, we have here the Knight of Gabriel, which is an exciting, confident, and courageous energy, taking action, and using your instincts to know what to do. But this is an action card. It's like, okay, let's do it. And you could be acting quickly on solutions. Another major arcana, friend, these are like nudges from the universe. And it says, success that comes from objective compromise Self-control is a big part of this reading for you, Taurus friends. It's really having the self-control to hold back and be patient. Uh, there's something I feel like you guys really want to get started on. You want to get moving on. But there is a need for you to relinquish control. Some stuff spirit is going to have to do, right? So I do see you all needing to relinquish control, okay? Um, be patient, for sure. I do see a beautiful energy of you being very blessed and abundant. Some of you have had a new love relationship manifest. You're very driven as it pertains to something in your career. Um, I think you're very busy and you have a lot to be grateful for. I think relationships could be your challenge right now though, you guys. So, um, do, you know, I was looking at this four of cups at the bottom of the deck. And this is about, sometimes it's about an offer that we don't see coming in or we're, we could be bored or a little despondent. But this is encouraging you to be aware of your emotions. And, um, you know, I think some of the reason why you guys could be working so hard is because you need to surrender this belief in scarcity. Capricorn got this card as well. This is your fellow fire, I mean, fellow earth sign, the Capricorns. Um, but I think sometimes we work super duper hard because we feel like if we don't do it, it will not get done. But that is not the case. There are spirit guides. You have angels. You have your ancestors. God is working on your behalf behind the scenes. So guess what, Taurus? You can rest a little bit because everything isn't going to be at your, you know, done at your hands because of the work of your hands. Some things are done because of God's favor, his grace, his mercy. Some things are just favor. These purple major arcana cards are when, you know, you have the force of the universe behind your back right? The wind beneath your wings um, is your destiny, things that are predestined for you. And you have nudges by the universe helping you achieve this 10 of aerial energy, which is a happily ever after having a lot to be grateful for um, money being good. Some of you will have a robust savings and peace of mind and you're accomplishing your goals, but you could be really sacrificing relationship as a result. So, can you know consider being more yielding Taurus consider compromising more um and believing that you know give up the belief that there needs to be scarcity okay and it says the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance Taurus in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams just know that it you know we live in an abundant universe you serve an abundant god all righty 
that belief in itself is half the battle. All right, Tyrus friends, thank you so much. If you guys got this far in the video, blessings to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also go live weekdays at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. No, I don't. At 3 p.m. <laughs> Central Standard Time called the Daily T Tarot Boost at 3. So I hope you guys join me there and I will see you real soon, Taurus. Take care.